welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a little bit different from the other content on my channel but still i hope that it is enjoyable for you today i want to share some of the things that i've learned this year in the year 2023 as we are wrapping it up it is like the middle of december now time goes by so fast but uh, this year has been very much a learning year for me. I have learned a lot, so much, okay? And so I wanted to share some of the things that I've learned with y'all and hopefully I can help someone out. Hopefully there's something that you can take away from this video going into 2024. Before I go ahead and get started, if you enjoy this type of content, makeup, beauty, I will be doing my makeup today. But if you enjoy this type of content, makeup, beauty, style, with a little bit of wellness, okay, because we can't forget to take care of ourselves, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, okay? And let me know down in the comment section what other type of videos you'd like to see from me. But that's it. I'm going to go ahead and get into my little spiel for this video. So yeah. Let's get started. We probably shouldn't have chosen this ladder shit chair sitter, but we here now. Alright, so alright, 23 things that I've learned in the year of 2023. First things first, I'm taking my glasses off because I can't do my eyebrows with my glasses on. And I wrote them down so that uh I won't like go over and also Yeah, but I I wrote them down so this video is not extra long. I want to keep keep it, you know, on topic because I tend to ramble like I'm doing now. First things first, one of the things that I learned this year is to celebrate your growth. Celebrate and enjoy your growth because we're growing all the time, you know, and growth can mean something different for everyone. We're all growing in our own different ways. So growth on me is not going to be the same as growth on you. And there's different areas that we grow in. Some of us grow physically. May not be our preference, but it's still growth. And I think as long as you're healthy, celebrate that growth, okay? Like, we're not kids anymore. We all got to grow up. Enjoy it. Celebrate it. And of course, celebrate other areas in your life as well that you're growing in. Because growth is meant to be a beautiful thing. We're human. We don't want to stay the same forever. All right. Number two, don't let other people's issues stress you out. Okay. Like, let their problems be their problems. Unless it directly affects you. And I mean directly. Like, if it's not affecting your health your wealth or your basically if it's not affecting you let it go feel me let other people's stress be their stress okay there's no point in taking on somebody else's baggage we all already have enough to carry and this color actually is kind of bad on my brows all right number three and i love this one and i've, I've learned this recently and i've been trying to tell myself this more often but Everything is as it should be. And that sounds so simple, but once you realize it, once you finally get that through your head, stop stressing out over the small things. I used to kind of start just letting things be and stop controlling everything or trying to control everything because in reality, you can't control everything. We're not meant to, we're not God, okay? We're not God, so everything is as it should be. Essentially, stop trying to control stuff. Number four, and I love this one. It's another thing I try to tell myself like all day, every day, all the time, but divine timing never misses, okay? You are always in the right place at the right time. And I know in 2023, Saying that is like so controversial because people be like, but, but what? No, because you're gonna look back and you're gonna realize that you were in the right place at the right time. Okay, divine timing never misses. Number five, 
okay all right this one i'm still working on like i'm still figuring it out but i've learned this recently and i'm trying to implement it into my life but basically you can only receive what you're able to give so i, th I think that's as simple as it gets but i'm gonna try to explain it a little bit more because it is a little vague but you can only receive what you're able to give and i've been recognizing that everything basically everything has energy so everything is an exchange of energy and i'm speaking in like these universal terms but you can i don't know picture it in your head the way you want to picture it this is just how i picture it everything has energy everything is an energy exchange so sorry i feel like i need another cup of coffee and i can't find this concealer give me a minute oh it's right here in front of my face okay what was i saying so everything is an energy exchange right and with everything being an energy exchange if you're not able to participate in the energy exchange i said that backwards if you're not able to give anything that you can't receive anything and there can't be any energy exchanges and that can apply to so many different things um the first thing i realized was money we all want more money we all want to be able to receive more money and money is an energy exchange okay it is a currency so you cannot receive all that money if you're not giving something back to it you know so like you have to have something to give in order to receive and even in terms of other things like love we all want to be loved so much but do you love yourself do you have enough love in yourself to give to someone so that you can receive or are you just being selfish and wanting a whole universe to just give 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 and you're not giving anything back so yeah And that kind of goes into my to my fifth thing that I've learned this year that you have to figure out what it is you need to give yourself whatever you're lacking you have to figure out how to give it to yourself um, in layman's terms you have to pour into your own cup so if you realize that you know you're lacking in an area you can't give as much of yourself as you want to you have to figure out how to how to pour back into yourself or also, if there's something that you want to receive, but you feel like you don't have it within you to give that thing that you want to receive, you have to learn how to pour that stuff into you so that you can be able to give. For example, if you want people to be more patient with you, but you don't have any patience to give other people, you got to learn how to first be patient with yourself, if that makes sense. Learn to be patient with yourself so that you can be patient with other people and they'll in turn be patient with you. So figure out the things that you're missing, that you're not able to give from yourself and pour that back into yourself so that you can be able to give to others. I hope that made sense. It kind of felt like I was rambling, but I hope that made sense. All right, number seven. And I feel like this goes back to the first few things that I said. Basically, self-care is not a once a week thing. It's not a one day thing self-care is constant okay because self-care is not just doing a facial taking a little bubble bath a little wine like yeah all that stuff feels good but at the, the end of the day that's not really what self-care is self-care is meant to be an ongoing journey of you constantly learning to love yourself learning to pour into yourself and give yourself the things that you're missing okay so don't don't shrink self-care down to a couple hours a week self-care is constant you always need to be taking care of yourself and figuring out how you can just take care of yourself even better number eight don't do things that you don't enjoy and that is something that i recently learned the hard way okay and I'm still trying to implement it because it's, it's not easy to do. It's not easy to do. It's easy to say. And I'll be honest, it's easy to say. It's not easy to do. Because, you know, I say that and like immediately my brain goes to, but 
that's not possible because there's things that we have to do. But the reality is, is that even though there are things that we have to do, it doesn't mean that we have to be miserable while we're doing it, okay? Do things that bring you joy and the things that you have to do, find the joy in doing them. And the best way to do that is to practice, start practicing gratitude, learning to say thank you for the little the little tasks that we have to do that we don't necessarily want to do, but bring a, being able to appreciate those things allows you to find the joy in them. Like, for example, I don't like when my son gets all clingy and like doesn't want to let me go. Doesn't want to let me be alone. And I am such not, well, I guess I can say I'm an introvert. I am very much an introvert. And yes, my son is only like almost two years old. He's just a toddler, but my toddler talks a lot, y'all. And I just want to be, be by myself sometimes, you know? And so as his mom, it's one of those things I have to do. I have to let him be clingy because that's, that's my baby. But at the same time, I'm not going to be around him and be moody and be irritated and angry because yes, I have to be here watching him because I'm his mother, but I'm still going to find the joy in doing it. And I'm going to do that by being grateful that I have a loving, healthy child that wants to be around his mom. Because if he didn't want to be around me, I think I would probably be, I'd be more butthurt than anything. <laughs> so like that, okay? Find the joy in doing things and do things that bring you joy. Number nine, and I'm not bringing this up to be shady. I'm not bringing this up to be coercive, okay? This is something that like I've actually learned more for the benefit of myself. Okay, this has nothing to do with y'all, but I'm sharing because, and this is number nine, it's free to share, okay? It is free to share. It is free to share information. It's free to share love. It's free to share feelings, your voice, cookies, bitch, whatever. It is free to share. This video, you can share this video, it's free, it doesn't cost anything. But yeah, it is free to share. Never feel like you don't have enough to share because you do, okay? And at the same time, never feel like, how do I say this? Never feel like you owe somebody, okay, because they shared with you. It is free to share. You don't have to do it, but everybody's capable of doing it, okay? Now, I'm not just talking about money. We're not talking about money. It is free to share things with each other it does absolutely nothing but benefit the next person it's free to share okay and america's so doggone capitalist that like people will have you believing that you have to you have to charge people to share no it is free to share all right number 10 this is a good one y'all so listen up you do not have to find your value or your worth okay you simply just have to recognize it, realize it, that you are worthy. There's nothing that you have to go out and get. There's nothing that you have to go out and buy or create. Like, you on your own, as you are, are worthy and you are valuable. You don't have to create a value for yourself. You don't have to steal it. You don't have to beg for it. You don't have to compromise for it yourself are already viable it is already there within you it was crazy i always tell myself i'm just gonna do a little bit of makeup i'm just gonna do a little bit a little bit and i end up doing a whole full face every time it never fails <laughs> number 11 oh this is a good one this might hurt some people's feelings because it's true it's hurt my feelings I'm not gonna lie when i when I heard it and I realized it and I figured it out. But number 11, if you can't afford something, it's because you're not meant to have it. Because you're not, hold on, let me rephrase that because I worded that wrong, okay? I don't want nobody getting too into their feelings. But number 11, if you can't afford something, it's because you're not ready for it. And that can mean literally, that can also mean spiritually. 
if you can't afford some things because you're not ready for it literally i mean like if you can't afford a million dollar house it's because you don't have a million dollars you're not ready for it or maybe you don't have the credit so you're not ready for it you know maybe you don't have the money saved you're not ready you're just not ready so there's no point in like being upset you're just not ready for it and when you are ready for it you'll be able to afford it and not just financially that kind of goes back to the whole self-care thing and figuring out what you're missing and pouring into yourself if you can't afford to love somebody because you're not ready for it okay you still got some learning and growing to do and that's okay number 12 is beautiful y'all this is beautiful you might want to write this down okay aligned and i'm being specifically i'm being very specific aligned opportunities are always showing themselves to you okay and they are and a lot of times we miss it because we're focusing on things that don't necessarily align with who we really are and so you miss the opportunities but the more you become in alignment with yourself the more you'll be able to see those opportunities that sounds so vague and like superstitious but it's true and you'll you'll start to see that the more you align with yourself okay you'll get it it sounds weird right now but you'll get it when, you, when it's time for you to get it okay you'll be like thank you yeah you're welcome number 13 is a hard one okay and this is something i have to remind myself a lot so I'm hoping going into 2024, I don't have to keep reminding myself this, but you are your own responsibility, okay? Nobody is responsible for you but you. Nobody is responsible for your feelings but you. Nobody is responsible for your health but you. Nobody is responsible for your finances but you. You have to be responsible. You have to take accountability for yourself. It's nobody else's job when you become grown, no one else's job to be accountable for you. So you can't blame anybody else for your situation but you. I know it's easy to try to place blame on other people, but at the end of the day, you are responsible for you. Okay. And the more you try to put that off, the worse it's just going to be. And for me, my, my biggest issue is like the little things and I'm about to expose myself a little bit saying this, but the little things like my morning routine, my bedtime routine, taking care of myself, I'll be like, I'll, I'll try, to, not out loud, but like in my head, I'll try to place blame on somebody else. I didn't get to take the shower I wanted today because somebody did such and such and such. I didn't get to wake up like I wanted to because such and such and such and such. But really, it's nobody's responsibility but myself. I am my own responsibility. So if something doesn't go like how I wanted it to, like all I can do is reflect, okay? Instead of placing blame on other people or other things and circumstances. Yes, other people play parts in things, okay? But still I am responsible for myself. And don't quote me on this because I ain't no Bible thumper, all right? But I'm pretty sure the Bible says or something like, 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 is it the Bible? I mean, not even, okay, because I don't even know. But somebody said, could have been the Bible, but somebody said, when I am a child, I think like a child, when I become an adult, I think like an adult. And I think that has a lot with dealing with, I think that has a lot to do with recognizing that you are your own responsibility. Because as a child, you don't have to assume any responsibility. Your parents take care of you. Your parents are accountable for you. And it's their job to teach you to be responsible so that when you assume that responsibility of yourself, you're good to go. Because, honey, when you're grown, you're grown. Okay, be responsible for yourself, all right? Number 14, and I think this is a good one. I think this is a good one for anybody that has any kind of, um, anxiety issues and i've dealt with a lot of anxiety okay in my 26 years on this earth that i know of at the moment but number number 14 
Anxiety, anxiety simply means there's something that you know you should be doing, but you're not doing it. As soon as you do that thing, your anxiety shall go away. And that sounds so easy. That's because it is. And I don't know about y'all, but that's where a lot of my anxiety comes from. Me overthinking, you know, and making situations bigger than they ought to be. And having this assumption that something's gonna be so difficult. So difficult that I shouldn't even bother with doing it at all. But I would, I could completely eliminate the anxiety simply by doing the thing that I know I need to be doing or that I want to do. Now that may not apply to everybody. It's not meant to apply to everybody. I know everybody has their own, everybody got mental issues these days, okay? And everybody has their own little thing. But from what I've learned this year, is that if you just go ahead and do that thing that you're putting off, that thing that you know you need to be doing, but you're not doing it, that anxiety will go away. And number 15, number 15 is a good one. Number 15 brings me peace, okay? And this is something that I heard um, one of my favorite creators say, and it really stuck with me. But um, being offended is a choice, okay? If somebody does something or says something to you, and you get offended, recognize the way you feel, first of all, recognize your feelings. Your feelings are valid, but they're also a choice. Nine times out of 10, your feelings are a choice, okay? Just because somebody says something doesn't mean that it has to be offensive. Just because somebody does something doesn't mean that it has to be offensive. A lot of the things that we are offended by, we're only offended by them because we were taught to be offended by them, like, and something so simple, and this, this might be a little funny, but something so simple that I realized, and I realized this at, um, from being a mom, um, things like passing gas. I don't know, y'all thought I was gonna go somewhere else, but it really be the little things, okay, that make you realize this stuff. But like passing gas, somebody passing gas, we're taught that it's offensive because if a baby farts, or if somebody farts around a baby, it gives no fucks, okay? And it's not going to unless you tell it to. So it's a choice to be offended. And most of the time, that choice is something that we learned. And of course, I think that's, I mean, I'm not saying that farting or not farting around people is bad. Of course, that goes with like people's cultures and, you know, their manners and what they deem is okay. But again, it's a choice, okay? You can choose whether or not you're offended. My face looks a little crazy, but... Number 16, I like this one. This one kind of, um, this one has sparked a lot in me lately. But number 16, the more you learn and figure out what it is you actually want, the more you're able to ask for those things that you want, okay? And I think that's an important thing to learn and to recognize because as you get older, you grow and you mature, your wants, your desires, they change. And it's important to recognize when you no longer want something, you know, when you feel like you're being called in a different direction, it's important to recognize that. Otherwise, you stay stuck where you are with things that no longer bring you joy. So the more you figure out who you are, what you actually want in life, the better and easier it is for you to ask for those things that you actually want. And let go of all the other crazy stuff. Your turn. Number 17, we are wrapping it up here, okay? Number 17, I love. Number 17, I need to be telling myself this more often, but I don't. So I'm gonna put it in this video and maybe I'll come back and watch it again. But number 17, you don't have to have it all figured out, okay? You do not. Nobody is going to have it all figured out. That's okay. Other people may, you know, kind of have this perception like they got it all figured out. Nobody has it all figured out, okay? We are not God. We don't know what the fuck is going to happen tomorrow, okay? And don't try to feel like you have to control situations so you can have it all figured out. Let, let that go. Let go of the need to control things and have everything all figured out because that'll never happen, all right? All right? Plan to the best of your ability, but recognize that you're never gonna have it all figured out and that's okay. All right, 
number 18 and this one's very simple but it's something that i learned this year number 18 not making a choice is a choice okay and that's very simple i don't think i have to explain that any further all right number where we at number 19 okay you're wrapping it up i know it looks like i got a long, a long time on my face but i'm almost done number 19 is a good one i think a lot of people need to hear this so hopefully a lot of people hear this, but you don't have to try and force people to change. Okay, first of all, it's not your responsibility to change other people. The best way to get people to change is for you to be the change, okay? Change yourself and people will be inspired by that. Focus on growing yourself, okay? And allow people to be inspired enough to change for themselves because you can't change other people, okay? You just can't. Don't put all that responsibility, don't try to put all that responsibility on yourself. It's not gonna work. You can try, 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 and try again, but it's not your responsibility to make other people change. Just like it's not other people's responsibility to make you change, okay? Just be the best you can be, and hopefully you inspire people to change. Because it really, it really is not on you, it's on them. Okay, all you can do is be the best that you can be, do the best that you can do, and then hope for the best. All right, don't try to force other people to change. Okay. All right, these last two are gonna sound kind of random um, considering everything that I just said, but just roll, roll with me, okay, okay, rock with me. Number 20, moisturize your skin while it's still wet. Okay, and I, I don't know. I know a lot of people know this, but not a lot of people don't. And it seems like common sense. And it may only seem like common sense for people that actually know what I'm talking about. But moisturize your skin while it's still wet. And I'm not talking about just your face, but like your body. Well, I'm mainly talking about your body. As soon as you get out the shower, put that lotion on. Skip the towel, put the lotion on. Okay, you'll thank me later. You lost your ball. Do you need help? Do you need help with your ball? Mommy will come help you find your ball. Are you dying? Mm-hmm. All right, let me wrap this up. Number, ooh, you made us stinky. That's why you came in here. Number 19, very simple, once again. Be obsessed with water because water is probably the most beneficial thing that we have. So be obsessed with it. And I'm not just talking about drinking it. Bathe in it, swim in it, cook with it, like, hey. be obsessed with water. It's probably the best benefit we have on this earth. So become obsessed with it. It doesn't go in your mouth. You don't need anything over here. Are you squirting that out all over the place? Are you done? All right, and the last thing that I want to say, number 23, and I know this is so controversial saying 2023, but I'm going to say it. Number 23, God is God all by himself. He does not need any help, okay? He doesn't need any. You get what I'm saying. God is God. There's no other ones. It's just him, okay? God is God. Don't let anybody try to convince you that he has help or that somebody else has as much power as he does. God is God. Okay. Yeah, I said it. Okay. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching this video, especially all the way through to the end. I hope you learned something from this. I hope you were able to gain as much from this video as I was. It definitely feels good being able to share my experiences and what I've learned throughout my life so far if you like this video please like it subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this type of content and i would love to keep this conversation going so feel free to comment down below in the comment section some of the things that you have learned throughout the year 2023 and also if you really enjoy this and you would love for me to share more because like i said it is free to share and so i'm open to sharing more i'm not just going to be out here making content if Nobody actually asked for it. Okay, so if you enjoy this and you want more videos like this, let me know down in the comment section below. Anyway, thank you guys again so much for watching this video and 
hopefully I'll see you in the next one.